praise the Lord, my daily Bible study friends. Today we're going to look at the end of the book of Acts. Praise the Lord. We're going to step into the book of Acts real quick. In order to do any kind of study on the book of Acts, it's really important that we also understand who wrote the book of Acts and to whom. Um, you may or may not already know that the book of Acts and the book of Luke were written by the beloved physician Luke. If you look in the gospel according to Luke, the first, uh, the first chapter, it goes like this in the book of Luke. For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most assuredly believed among us, even as they were delivered unto us, from which, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things, from the very first to write unto thee in order, most excellent Theophilus, that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. One thing that uh, a doctor may have that most of us don't is an attention to detail. It's one of the reasons I could never be a doctor. I'm a headline person. Everybody who knows me well knows that about me. Just ask my beloved wife. Amen. But this Luke was not that way. He wanted to pay attention to things. One of the things I want us to pay attention to is what he said right here in the beginning. He repeated himself. In case you were not paying attention, let me show you what he said. In the first uh, chapter 1, verse 1, For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration. Amen. And then again, we go down to the third verse where it says, It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things, from the very first to write unto thee in order. Amen. The thing I want to point out in this is if you want a chronological order of things, the book of Luke gives you the best chronological order of things, as far as I know. And he also mentioned it twice. The fact that he mentioned it twice says volumes about what he hoped to do. And remember, he also said, uh, it seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto thee in order, most excellent Theophilus. Now flip over to the book of Acts, the very first uh, verse, first chapter again. The former te- theses that I've written unto you, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach until the day in which he was taken up, after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. That begins the book of Acts. So Luke follows the beginning in order of the birth of Christ. He also follows in order the book of Acts as things progressed. So that is something I thought was very interesting to know. Also, both of these books are written to a gentleman that we know as Theophilus. The fact that he he kind of acknowledges him as a as a um, a person of higher standing kind of teaches us that it could have been an old professor of his in school or something of that nature, but it was a person of high standing that these books are written to, and of course now they're written to us. The book of the book of the Acts of the Apostles continues. But what's what's amazing to me is we go to Acts 28 and 30 and 31. And let's just read. Now, these are the last verses of the book of Acts. And Paul dwelt, um, and Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house and received all that came unto him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching those things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no man forbidding him. Amen. So that kind of leaves the book of Acts wide open. It really is. It's like it's like a a sieve where there's just holes that are just falling through. You ask what happened to Peter, what happened to Paul. One of the most beautiful ways to do a Bible study is to look at the book of Acts then compare, for instance, the book of Acts to the first Corinthians to Ephesians, because all of the places like Ephesians, Colossia, Colossians, and all these different places are mentioned within the book of Acts. When you do a Bible study, try to follow the cities and towns that you're in. You're going to find 
very, very cool stuff. You're going to find out that these were human beings just like we are. But what blows me away, and, and I guess the bottom line to this Bible study very quickly is this, that there is no uh, closing of the book of Acts. It doesn't say amen, goodbye, um, have a good day, or anything like that. Um, whereas, for instance, 1 Timothy, which some professing have erred concerning the faith, grace be to thee, amen. It closes the book out. Most any other book... Well, you'll see there's a closeout of the book. It's just, this is the last word. Uh, we're done. Uh, how about another one? Uh, Second Thessalonians. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. The point I want to make is, if you want to see the book of Acts in, in, in real time, visit the church in Falls Avenue in Wabash, Indiana. We had three people get the Holy Ghost. We've baptized people in the last couple of weeks. If you want to see a revival, if you want to see that book of Acts taking place, you can come on down to our church in Wabash, Indiana, and you can experience that revival that God is giving us. And we're pouring out, we're seeing God do great and mighty things. This is the book of Acts. Amen. And it's still in full swing. When the Lord comes, when he comes into the cloud and he speaks, come up, my children. Amen. That will be the close of the book of Acts. That will begin another dispensation um, with regard to God. But my friends, just as in the days of Noah, when that door shuts, it's shut. The Bible says that he can open a door that no man can open and he'll shut the door that that he'll shut the door that no man can open. He'll open the door that no man can shut. Praise the Lord. If you want to see that spirit of God moving in a great way, I suggest you come to the Falls Avenue Abundant Life Church in Wabash, Indiana, and you will see a great move of God, and you will receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, just like they did on the day of Acts, because that book of Acts is still being played out today. I love you. I look forward to seeing you. And if you see me there, do me a favor. Come and say, hey, Tony, I saw your video. Let me just know you're watching. Anyway, I love you. I, I pray for you, and I pray that God will have his way in and with you in Jesus' name.